Good evening! We have another one of these milestone reward kind of things. Uh, this one's a little different because it's only for opening orbs, and it's all various types of orbs. So, of course, again, made a spreadsheet for calculating this and seeing where we're at. Um, we have data mined this a couple of weeks ago. It came up. Um, so we knew that there was something coming to do with orbs, so i personally been saving just about everything I could to uh, prepare for it, but unfortunately, uh, it's even fewer orbs than I expected as far as what counts, and so I'm going to go over that, uh, show a calculator here that I made in an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, give you a link in the description on how to copy it over to your Google Drive uh, or your roster spreadsheet or whatever you're using, and uh, be able to use it yourself, figure out how many points you can expect to get, and see how many you need to get to the next big milestone. So uh, let's start by looking at what actually counts. Now I did test before this video, I did test a few things that are not listed here just to see if they counted for points such as elite orange orbs, uh, war orbs, uh, milestone orbs, things like that, snowball orbs, none of them give points. I can verify that as much as, as, as I did it. Uh, unfortunately, it is only the ones listed here. So if you have mega orbs you've been sitting on for a while, 25 is pretty good per pool. However, they are very expensive to acquire and, uh, you know, they aren't very plentiful. So uh, most people are probably going to be doing Ultimus orbs, um, gold orbs, orange gear orbs, premium orbs, red star orbs, and training orbs and ability orbs uh, for tens. Uh, everything else is uh, pretty cheap. Legacy orbs is only five, uh, which I saw there were some offers for. And... Um, Um, and then there's also Kingpin, Blitz, Gear Orbs, Raid Orbs, and all this. But these are all ones and twos, so it's not a whole lot that you can get from those, unfortunately. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, my cat is annoying me right now. Uh, <laughs> say hi, Stormy. Hello. <laughs> um, anyway, so these ones aren't very significant. They're just kind of throw-ins. If you've been saving your basic orbs and stuff for a long time, then great good for you if you got a few hundred then yeah that's a pretty significant amount uh in total to get the full rewards we need 3650 points which is a lot um and really the first few hundred milestone points don't really give a whole lot of interesting stuff there are a few orbs along the way that do count towards points so you know the blue and the purple orbs do count towards or for two and three points a piece and then this one legacy orb counts for five um i did look into that but you really don't get a whole lot of value out of that for the total points you, you'll get maybe like a dozen or so from the orbs that you get uh the rest of these are just snow globe orbs and so you're not going to get any points from the snow globe orbs i did check i didn't get any when i opened some i'm still stuck at two <laughs> so uh i am sitting on a few hundred orbs though so i do have a lot to get and then there's elite four credits later down here at 2050 you get a full orb uh, but those don't count towards it as far as I know they may count as a red star orb but then it's only 10 points and I don't think anybody should be opening elite fours with Cree as the highlight uh, just to get 10 more points in this milestone uh, there's plenty of other ways you can get those points so uh, to me this is going to be a challenge if you haven't been saving up um, you only have seven days to do it uh, and get all these points, so that's going to be tough. But at the end here, there is a five red star Namor uh, who is really powerful in war. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be shooting for that. Absolutely, I will spend a little bit of cores and stuff to get there if I have to. Uh, and then a four red star Psylocke at 1550 is pretty attainable. Uh, if you don't already have her at four red stars, uh, she's a good character. Three red star Mr. Fantastic, three red star Juggernaut, uh, let's see, three red star Elsa, and then a two red star Captain America. And I think that's it for the character red star drops. Uh, and then the rest of this is just, you know, 25 of these mini uniques and then 15 of, I don't know what you call the different ones here, but the the larger mini unique um you know this is this is really good if you can get to this level this is absolutely worth it uh it's just you had to be hoarding for a long time to be able to get that right off the bat and if not then you're gonna have to spend some or spend some cores to get there and that's gonna be tough but as you may have noticed today there are a lot of orb offers in the store um 
but I'll leave that up to you to figure out what's best for you to get to where you want to be um, in the calculator here on the right. Um, so I've just made a spreadsheet for it within my roster spreadsheet. So if you've been there, you can go to it in the link in the description. Um, on the left here, we have the orb types the points that you get per orb. And then if you want to, you could fill in your inventory. So I think this is really important because uh, for instance, I could get like 300 or no, not 300. I can get 140. I was just playing around here at the data. <laughs> I could get 140 Kingpin orbs from my arena credit stash, but that would only give me 280 points. So if I'm right at the end of this in seven days and it's, you know, uh, just before the thing, and it'll get me to the next tier that I really want. Maybe I'll spend some arena credits on Kingpin orbs, but they're really expensive. Uh, when we go into the orbs here, uh, arena orbs are 675 a piece, which is a lot uh, for what you get, but at least you can get many uniques in them now. So they aren't complete crap like they were before. Uh, they're a little bit better. Uh, the Blitz ones, I, I believe these are 350 a piece, but I can't see them right now because I have my Blitz. Uh, I haven't pulled my Blitz uh, orbs yet, and I really haven't pulled any of my orbs yet. I'm going to do that separately uh, later. And then the other one that you could potentially pull if you have lots of credits is the raid orbs, which are 950 a piece, and that gives you uh, just character shards for the ones that are in the raid store. So um, the thing is, none of those are very significant. They're all two points a piece. So if you're going to be blowing credits on it, you better have a lot of credits stored up. Because for me, all of my raid credits go into gear right now. I don't buy anything else. Um, all purple gear just to get guys to tier 12. Um, I think that's the most important thing to use it for. Uh, arena credits, I don't mind spending because I got tons of them. And I don't really have anything to spend it on right now. If there's a new character... Probably an Asgardian going into Arena Store at some point in the near future. It's not going to take very long for me to get him up to 7 star, and I got plenty of credits to sit on. Uh, if Blitz is really hard to spend credits for, though, but just because it's so important for war. Uh, so I wouldn't really recommend wasting them on two points apiece for Blitz Orbs. It just it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, but when you look at the calculator here, um, you know if you've been saving up your Ultimus Orbs, those are worth a lot, 20 apiece. Uh, so hopefully with all the extra character shards that we get from pulling a lot of these orbs, like premiums and whatnot, uh, we end up with lots more Ultimus Orbs, and then we can get more Ultimus uh, points, and and you know that's pretty significant, 20 per per orb. So. Um, Premium orbs, uh, let's see. So, like, for me, like, the way you do this is you fill it in in your inventory here, what you currently have not pulled. Uh, so I have 14 red star orbs. I have five premium orbs. Um, Astral allies, unfortunately, doesn't count. I don't think any of these really count. Uh, I don't think orb doesn't. Uh, basic orbs, okay, I got 23 of those. So you need to fill this in with your numbers. I have six gold orbs. Um, and basically what that'll do is tell you potential points down here. And then uh, my current points are two, right? So what that is is uh, how many points are needed to get to all the milestones. Um, right now, uh, I'm just putting it with 3650 as the target. If that's not a realistic target for you, just go edit this formula and change this to, you know, say 2250 for Namor, right? So uh, what I've been doing is basically saying, I'm going to try to shoot for all of them because that tier 14 tech gear is going to be huge. And I'd like to get into Dark Dimension 3 as soon as it comes out. But, you know, of course, that's going to be very difficult. But basically, you can look here and see what the premium rewards are. Uh, this isn't everything in the milestones. I didn't feel like copying everything because I didn't think it was relevant. Um, but basically, the big things are the three reds. Uh, Coulson and Captain Marvel shards are huge. Uh, but there are lots of other shards. There's Fantastic Four shards. There's Brotherhood shards. There's uh, Supernatural shards. Uh, some stuff that we can't even farm right now, like Ghost Rider and Namor and whatever. Um, so those are all good to get, but they're, they'll be gotten along their way. I think they're better targets to aim for. Uh, especially if you don't have a 4 red Psylocke, you should be aiming for that. If you don't have uh, a 5 red Namor, you should probably be aiming for that too. I know that's what I'm going to be shooting for. But basically with my entire inventory totaled up here, let's say I got all these. And this is without any of this stuff at the top here. Um, let's just put 0 on this one. Um, so just considering what orbs I currently have in stock, I have 1,591 points. So I can look over here on the right and see that gets me to the 4 red Psylocke. Um, so that's a good good start. Uh, but I still need another 700 points to get to Namor, right? So uh, I could edit this formula and just say, you know, 2250, right? Uh, oops, I missed a 2. 
Uh, but I could say the 2250 and then see how many I need. So if I if so if I am at 15, let's say 91 points, then I would still need 659 to reach my goal, right? So that's the idea here is you're just trying to figure out what do you what how much do you need to get to where you want to be? And for me right now, it's 2250 is what I'm shooting for. And then I'll see if I have any shot at getting the 3650. Uh, we do have a week, though, to accumulate Blitz orbs um, and, you know, premium orbs and red star orbs from the current blitzes. I'm sure those uh, blitzes are going to be a little bit more challenging this time. So you may want to shoot much higher than you normally do and uh, get that extra orb or two for an extra 20 points, you know. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's where we're at right now. So if you're really looking to supplement and hit that next goal, though, come up here to these arena and blitz credits and raid credits and fill those in and just see how much you could potentially get by using those credits towards uh the points here so for me i'm definitely going to be using arena credits in that that space to get me x number of points now i could get you know 140 total orbs if i really wanted to um but you know as i use credits let's say i used you know 100 or 10,000 credits i can just change this to 85,000 and then see how many orbs i have left and how many more points i can add to my total so that's the idea here it's a really simple calculator uh there's even a uh little Oh, whoops, this is supposed to be, uh, <laughs> there's that, there we go, and uh, this is even uh, just a calculator for how long is left in the event, just so you have it up here in front of you, and really just fill in the yellow items as you need to, so I currently have two potential point or two points towards this, um, oh man, I just overwrote the formula, I'm supposed to put it here, just doing it wrong. And I, I even made this thing. But yeah, edit the yellow, yellow s columns and r cells. That's that's the part that is your information. The rest of it is calculated. So you don't have to mess with it. And then this mo notable milestone rewards thing is just, it's just sitting here for, uh, for reference. If you have something else that you're really shooting for, you may want to add it here. You can just drop it in the middle of the table or whatever. Um, but that's the idea. So it's really simple. Figure out how much you need to get to where you want to go. And uh, if you're short, then you probably need to go over to the offer section and start browsing all their shitty deals and figure out, oh, gee, do I really want to spend $5 on 21 of these orbs? Oh, well, if I did, I could get 21 legacy orbs, and that would give me 105 points. So maybe that's enough for you to get to the next level of milestones, and it's worth it. Uh, this one is, you know, 10 or 14 points per day for seven days. So that'd be, you know, 70 to, what, 140 potentially points. <laughs> no, not even that much. It's uh, 7 times 7 is 49, right? So uh, that would, yeah, that would still put you, you know, maybe in the next tier. Maybe. I don't know. A lot of these orb offers are probably not that great. I think the only really good offer is the energy bundle, uh, 250 energy and 200 astral Heimdall energy or whatever. Uh, that's pretty good. Astral orbs do not count towards uh, this event, unfortunately. And plus Heimdall doesn't have a greater drop chance. Um, snow globe orbs do not count towards this. And let's see. Uh, so if you get two blitz orbs, two raid orbs and one kingpin vault orb each of those worth two that's five orbs that's 10 points for 600 uh <laughs> for 600 cores uh that's pretty significant um cost like that's not worth it at all uh two red star orbs for 900 eh, that's not the worst thing you might get a good red star drop but that's only 20 points for 900 cores uh, this is two to four training orbs, so that's 40 points at most for 900 cores. I mean, it's, it's just not that great of a value, so you really got to be careful. If it's, if it gets you the next thing and you really want it, it may be worth it. Um, but yeah, you got to be you gotta be careful about it. So that's the whole idea of this calculator. Give you the tools to see where you are, what you need, and where how to get to where you want to be. And uh, just figure it out from there. That's That's it. So uh, good luck. I hope you all get your five red Namor at least and maybe some tier 14 supplies. If not, uh, you know, 
sorry, you know, they didn't tell us that much in advance, so you can't really do anything about it. But uh, link in the description, check it out. Uh, it's called Orb Milestones is the name of the sheet. So find it in there and uh, feel free to copy it out. See ya.